Alright, so usually when uh, I'm making a bottle uh, a vase, uh, I usually take care of the base first, get the foam nice, nicely curved, and then uh, finish up this part. So when you see when I'm stretch, stretching, I didn't even uh, stretch all the way to the top. So I still leave quite a bit of a clay here on the top. So if I want to close and make it narrow or make it a, a smaller tall neck, I still have a clay here to, to work with. Right, so after I stretch to here, the uh, clay here is still kind of thick, so I'm going to thin it down and then try to color it in to make the, the top smaller. But here I still want to uh, try to pour a little bit clay up. And this kind of uh, shape is very uh, 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 dangerous because it's more horizontal, it's very easy to collapse. So uh, usually you want to have a more curve instead of more uh, horizontal shape here. So I'm getting my finger inside to push out a little thumb. We can use a sponge to get a little bit of water here. And you don't have too much water to drip on the surface. So just put enough water there to lubricate it. And then I'm trying to uh, uh, color in by uh, choking the neck here. Um, my finger is kind of forming like this. And then just push, squeeze it. But make sure it is slippery. To make it a little bit narrower, I still want to uh, pull up a little bit because the clay, when you uh, are coloring, it's getting thicker, so you could uh, lift it up. And for lifting up uh, the narrow uh, the neck, you can use just a fingertip, like this fingertip, with the finger supporting on the inside, and just a smaller uh, index finger. And slowly you squeeze and move the clay. And you see that I try to stabilize all my fingertips. The inside finger and then hanging out my, my thumb and the thumb is raising my index finger. And before I close further, I wanna, because now it's still a, a little bit of a, a opening, so I could reach inside to get 
this part is smooth. And I can use the uh, other side of the rib, the curved side of the rib to get the uh, the corner here smooth. Right. So when it's larger, I'm using my just whole fingers to uh, color in, to chuck in. And when it's smaller, there are a couple ways when. Your cylinder is smaller. Uh, you can use a six point uh, lifting. Okay, six point one, two, three, four, five, six. And make sure it is slippery. So I'm using a, a, a sponge to uh, to put some water on the surface. So six point. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right, and I also want to show you a, a, another way of uh, make the uh, the next smaller. It's I call a uh, crawl, okay, crawl. Just use the five fingers, hold it on the uh, outer part, and then kind of pinch, and then lift. Okay, <clears throat> so make sure the finger is slippery, and then uh, my right hand, okay, I can either do this or this to stabilize it, there's a little uh, water drip, that's why uh, you want to be a very final stage, be careful with the water. So better to use uh, just sponge to, to lubricate the point so you don't have too much water to burn. Hold it here and then my right hand supporting it. A little bit wobbly here, so still, I can still reach inside to stabilize it.
Alright, so I'm focusing on how to uh, narrow it down and get a, a shorter, a narrow neck and toe neck. So um, you see that I use water uh, very efficiently. Um, my splash pan is dry. Even my bed is dry. Because once you got your foam and you are using the rib, you don't need to use a lot of water. Actually, when you're ripping, you don't need any drip of water at all. Unless you want to use a hand to uh, to uh, make it narrow or color in, then uh, you just put some uh, water on your sponge and then just focus on the portion that you want to narrow it. Um, you see that my my bed is very dry. Even my finger, the clay on my finger, on my hand, on my hands, it's dry too. Okay, they all dried out. So that's, that's tell you that I don't use a lot of water when I'm shaping. So the finger is dry. The hand, the fingers. Okay, so let me uh, cut it open and show you. Uh, this is about uh, three pounds of clay. Mm. And you wa watch all the way to the uh, very end. So I'll show you. Okay. All right, so that's the, uh, the wall. Because I, uh, I color, when I color in, I keep on uh, put, lifting it up so the neck is not, uh, not very thick. Okay, not very thick. Except for very bottom, it's uh, still a little bit thicker because you need to uh, have some kind of thickness to hold the, uh, the weight from the top. So that's why I usually the bottom is a bit thicker and you can just trim it down. So it's not a big deal. Alright, I uh, hope this helps. Use less water, okay? Less water and more practice. You should be able to uh, do that. All right? Thanks for watching. And see you next time.